Now, News 13 Sky Warn Weather. Uh, we're tracking that winter storm. We're already, we've got winter storm watches in effect for the northern mountains of New Mexico and back off into Colorado. Significant snow possible with this, and we'll break it down for you in just a bit. Right now, the status, of course, is off into California, drawing in moisture ahead of it, and gradually we'll start to see those clouds on the increase. So tonight, 20 degrees. Tomorrow, it's more or less going to be a story of the clouds and turning stormy as we head on into the latter portions of the afternoon and the evening. 29 tonight, same story with the cloud cover, increasing clouds by tomorrow with highs in the mid-50s and showers possible. 53 right now in Durango, 54 Farmington. We've got some 60s and 70s stretching across the south. There's a storm yet again as this ridge of high pressure finally breaks down. It's been nice while it's been here. Uh, here's what we're kind of anticipating for with the snowfall forecast. We're talking about a half an inch to an inch in the Farmington area. You can see one to three in Durango. One to two around Chama, Tierra Maria. Of course, up in the uh, San Juans of Colorado, could see a little bit more. 48 in the Enchanted Circle and down south could see a dusting to two inches in Albuquerque, one two to six in the Sandias and Manzanos, and of course three to eight out towards the northeastern plains. And here is why we're kind of saying this. Initially, what will happen is we'll draw in some warmer and or at least milder air ahead of the storm system. So the moisture that we do get, the snow that we do accumulate is going to be the higher elevated areas, especially the San Juans and the Sangre de Cristos, while the rest of us see mainly rain. As we head into Sunday and Monday, the eastern areas of the state will get a good dose of cold air. This is going to drop the snow lines or at least drag it southward. And we'll have some very cold temperatures and even some snow up around Roswell where they're not used to it and could even see some snow along the eastern slopes of the Central Mountains. So the status of the storms right now spinning over California. The timing on this brings it in tomorrow afternoon into Monday. And what you can expect, again, cold temperatures, valley snow, mountain snow. That's going to be kind of our big concern there. And the best potential on this, 30%. The reason why is... We've still got that cold air to contend with, and the arrival of that cold air is going to mean the difference for many areas across the state on what they do get. Precipitation forecast, rain showers beginning tomorrow evening around 7 o'clock from uh, Silver City. You get up in the Gila, the higher elevated areas where it all turns over to snow and then transitions northward uh, up into our areas. We head in the overnight hours tomorrow into early Sunday. For Sunday afternoon, showers will continue mainly south 40 and We'll end up seeing kind of a drying trend north to south across the state. So, again, there's your snowfall forecast anywhere from a half an inch to an inch to three inches with that storm. So, across the northwest, here's what you can expect overnight lows tonight will be in the teens and 20s. Tomorrow's highs in the 40s and 50s from Los Alamos to Grants. Anticipating a fairly Mild day tomorrow afternoon, but then cooling off by Sunday. And overnight lows, of course, are going to be on the chilly side, which will warrant snow showers. There's your seven day forecast, Farmington. Winter storm continues on into early Monday. I'm probably going to see the end of the showers for us, though, on Sunday as we start to dry out behind the system. We're anticipating some very cold air to stick around with highs expected to be in the upper 40s to near 50 degrees and overnight lows into the 20s.